Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're going to do this makeup look, which I call a little bit of a toned down, daytime, simple bombshell look with light lashes, brown liner, and just very, very nice, pretty makeup, but not so heavy. This video is in collaboration with Walmart. Walmart is having a beauty glow up event. The dates are March 30th through April 21st. They will have it in stores and on their website, and they will be featuring all kinds of new makeup, clean beauty, cruelty-free beauty, all of our favorites, L'Oreal, Revlon, Physicians Formula, and some new ones like Uoma, and a few brands like that. That's also gonna include goody-goody hair accessories, heritage hair accessories, all types of beauty products on sale. Starts tomorrow, and it ends April 21st. Let's get started with the Wet n' Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer Liquid. It smooths, it conditions, it refines pores, balances, and prolongs makeup. You guys, I just can't tell you how impressed I am with this. I actually have a backup because I'm so scared that they're going to quit making it. So I'm hoping that you will try this, you will love it, and they'll keep on making it. I did have the cap top break off of this, but it's really not a big deal because I like to shake it up really good because I think that there's probably some type of silica or powders in this formula. And I had someone ask me, where did I fit this in my skincare? Don't think of it as an essence like a skincare essence. Think of it more like a primer. Don't put it in your skincare routine. If if you do get it and your lid is not broken off, it comes out really slow like this. What I do is I get some in my hand, a few drops, and I press it into my skin, especially like around my nose, all of the places that make up usually just disappears when I wear some of these foundations that we're gonna try. Okay, and I think this is an important step. Let it dry down for, I would say, at least a minute. What I usually do is just go brush my teeth or do something like that because it has to dry and set to your skin. You don't want it just mixing with your foundation or I don't think you're gonna get the same result. My friend Madison Payne suggested these makeup bags. They are gorgeous. And then I also wanted to share with you the self tanner that I've been using. This is a good one. It's an oldie but a goodie and it's still around for a reason. It works. Now does it come off on my sheets? Yes, but it washes right out and it does not seem to come off on my clothes. So I am really happy with it. It's the Jergens Natural Glow. It's a gradual tan, it's infused with coconut oil, and it's a daily moisturizer, medium to deep. I would get medium to deep. It isn't anything like a true tanner. I'm not really careful with it. To be honest with you, I just apply it like a moisturizer, and I love it. And then, really quick, and we'll go on with the makeup, one of my all time favorite fragrances. I hope that Walmart still carries it. That's where I got mine. This is the JLo Miami Glow. It is just one sexy summer scent. I put on one spray and I was just in the car and I just found myself wanting to smell it. You know how sometimes you can put on a fragrance and even if you like it, you get kind of tired of it kind of early. This isn't like that. So don't overdo it because it is one that is pretty strong and it lasts. So one spray is all that you need. It has a nice, yeah. I don't even know how to describe this. It's very sexy, very summery, not really coconutty, and it's very happy. It like makes you feel like you're in such a happy summer mood and that you just look beautiful and sexy and you're ready to just like dance or something. That's how it makes you feel. <laughs> it's a good one. Okay, I've got a really tough decision here because I love both of these foundations so much. I mean, I bought the new Laura Mercier, I bought the new KVD, and I have not even worn them because I have been wearing these drugstore foundations. The first one I've told you about, it is the L'Oreal True Match, and I've been mixing 
N3 with W4. Then I ended up picking up N4, which is neutral light medium. We've got all of them in the same family, but this has been my latest love, and it's the L'Oreal True Match Nude with Hyaluronic Acid, the serum foundation. This is something I never thought I would be able to wear this. Honestly, any of these. If it weren't for this primer, I don't think I would be able to wear these. I don't know which one to put on for you guys. I might do one on one side and one on the other. Let me see how that works and we can always fix it because both shades are so good. Okay, so this is the L'Oreal True Match and it's in two to three light. And I do not worry about the drops I actually just take it on my Eco Tools sponge and I get some on my sponge like that. Okay, so let's start this over here. This is a little bit lighter than the other as far as coverage goes, but isn't that pretty? It's just enough to cover my redness, but it's not full coverage at all. It does leave like a little bit of the imperfections but I think it just gives a gorgeous look, especially when we put on our concealer. So I'm gonna use that for that side of the face. I think the N3 light medium is gonna be the best color match. Now this one has the pump. I'm gonna use one pump here. So you can see right from the beginning, that is a little bit more coverage. Okay, so here is the serum foundation on this side. And here is one pump of the True Match. Both so pretty and such good shades. I mean, just beautiful. Okay, so now let's go on to something else I've been loving, and it is the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Concealers. And the shades I like, and I have to mix them. One is a little bit too dark, one is a little bit too light. So I use the light to medium and the medium to tan. I usually start with the medium to tan. Go right in here. I love the wand. And this does have the same butter, bronzer, butter, everything type scent. So if you're sensitive to that, I will go ahead and tell you it does have that. And then I take this lightest one and I just, you know, add a little bit just to mix in there. Then I just take my sponge and it blends beautifully into these foundations. I would say both of these foundations, they're very, very similar. It's just what I said. The serum one, you just have a little tiny bit less coverage. And I am going over my eyelids and that will be my primer and around my nose. So I'm highlighting the center of my face and then my around my mouth. And then I usually just, with what's left, go down my jawline like that. Okay, so this powder is very good. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Fair Light 10. I did not like the next one up. The beauty of this is it has that brightening effect, but I will say it can get cakey. This is not one that I like applying with a puff. I really think it's better with a damp sponge, a beauty blender type sponge. So I'm gonna get some in the lid. I'm gonna take my damp sponge, press it in, and then really like knock it off and press it in my hand. And then I'm going to set underneath my eyes. I forgot to do this step in one of my last videos and boy, I could really see the difference. It's very, very smoothing. It will really help with the under eyes, not seeing that little crevice that we get when we mature. So I'm gonna dip it again, press it off and same thing. And then what I'll do is just keep using what I already have on my hand so I've set all of my concealer, and then I kind of just go wherever else I'm gonna go with my next product. Something I just ordered, one of you told me this was really good, and it is the Physicians Formula Mineral Powder. I have not tried it, but let's just take a look today. I love the container. It's got that little deep part, so let's shake some out. Okay, and the shade I got is called Creamy Natural. I'm gonna use my brush that I'm gonna use for everything else, work some in my brush. Let's see what this does. 
So far, so good. I just go everywhere I would go with my contour and my bronzer. Now, I don't know how much coverage this is gonna have on its own, but I think that looks pretty and it does, you know, put a subtle start to your contour. Okay, this, look at this thing. Look how used and abused it is. This is one of my all-time favorite products. It is the NYX Three Steps to Sculpt, and I only like this particular shade, which is Fair. The reason I like it is, see how neutral that contour color is? And then you have the matte highlight and a shimmer highlight. This is just one of those palettes that I think everyone would love. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bounce a little bit into my contour. This is very important. Kind of work it in the brush on your lid. Then lightly start your contour. So I hope you can see that instead of this being a bronzy, bombshell, beach babe type look, it's going to be more of your subdued, everyday, girl next door bombshell. <laughs> Just a little, taking down a few notches, and that's what using this color on its own does. Now, if you still want a little bit of warmth, the Butter Bronzer will forever be one of my favorites. Get a little bit, and just put a little bit, like right on your cheeks. Maybe a little bit on your forehead. The good thing about this bronzer is it has a good amount of glow, but it doesn't really have shimmer. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit but if you liked it before, just stop at that. I'm just gonna wipe off my brush, use the same brush. I'm gonna go into this creamy highlight and just a little bit into this shimmery shade. It's not really, really shimmery. And I'm gonna do the tops of my cheeks and I'm doing this before my blush because I think it looks better, especially on mature skin. It just gives your cheeks a little bit of that shimmer, helps them stand out. All we're doing is we're trying to diminish the shadows and then bring out the good and bring out your facial structure. So it's going to be different on everyone, but you understand, you know what you like. Okay, for blush, this is a tough one for me because I think my all-time favorite drugstore blush is Milani Luminoso. But another one I like if you are into more of a natural and you like the more pinky tones is this one from Physicians Formula. It is the natural in the glow and mood boosting blush. And I have been wearing this in the past, I would say three or four videos. So I'm gonna use this. So same brush, I'm gonna work it in all of those colors. And isn't it pretty? So because this gives a glow on its own, you could just use this and skip that last step with the sculpt. It's up to you, but it's fun to play with it because I don't think you're gonna go wrong either way. For the lip color, I would feel bad about using two different lip liners, but I'll bet that you all already have these if you watch my videos. So to make the perfect, natural, full, glossy lip look color, I have been using the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte in Matte Stermind. And you gotta do this first. Don't do them the other way. Do this one first. And you could stop here, but I really think it helps if you will go over that lightly with the Maybelline Totally Toffee. And you probably have this too, but if you don't, this is a must have. I would say this whole lip combo is a must have. Even if you don't use these products together, you would enjoy all of them. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Moon. There we go. It feels amazing on. This lip combo will last all day. Even when it wears off, it will still look beautiful. I love it. I mean, I have worn it for just hours and hours. And at first I was taking them with me in case I needed to touch up, but I haven't. It wears off beautifully. Brows. This is a good one. And I have been using this in my videos. This is the NYX Fill and Fluff in taupe. Beautiful. It's just a gorgeous product. I had to go grab a mirror so I could get close up and see what I'm doing. And you guys can still see. Isn't that color pretty? Okay. And then it has that really cool kind of like kabuki type brush like the Dior does on the end. So I just brush it through and you can see that it stays, but it does blend. Oh, I love it. Okay, and I just use a clear brow gel over that. Okay, now on to eyeshadows. This palette has been so good. Madison also told me about this. It's the Nudes of New York from Maybelline, and it's just a beautiful palette. This has been just so good. I have enjoyed using this palette so much. Okay, I just get a medium crease brush, and I always start off with this shade over here. 
It's very just neutral to cool toned and it is the perfect go right in your crease, start off shadow. So I've been going into this. You'll see it gives like the perfect no makeup makeup shadow. Now I'm going right on that bone. My eyes are already deep set, so I'm not trying to create a crease. I'm not trying to accent the crease. I'm actually trying to recess that bone a little bit and I'm making my eyes bigger. I have smaller eyes, but yet I have a big space. So in order to do that, I bring my eyeshadow out a little bit further to the end of my brow. I bring it all the way in and up, and then I will take a little bit and I will go underneath on my lower lash line and then meet it up and come out. You could easily stop there and I'm gonna stop there for right now. And today I am going to use some of the Kiss Looks So Natural Lightweight and Comfortable Lashes. So as you can see, they're very light. The band is very light. I believe it's clear. And this is, I think, a very beginner friendly lash. So what I'm going to do is pull these off and I'm going to show you how to put lashes on and then not look so severe. So what I have to do first is measure my eyes. I like my lashes to start right about here. I don't like them to go all the way in because my eyes are so round that if I try to get a lash to go in there it pops up and I really don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to start it about right here. I could cut one of these in half but for this video, I'm just going to use a little bit more to show you. Okay, so I just cut off just about that much. I don't know if you can even see it. I'm gonna go ahead and put my Duo Glue out. I don't like to put it directly on the lashes because I like a really thin line. So I always just put it on something. And because it's got that latex in it, it will roll right off. So take a Q-tip or the end of a brush and we're going to coat it on these lashes. Then I'm going to do the easiest wing liner you can do. Now if you don't care for wing liner, just skip the wing, but you can do this step that I'm going to do. I like wing liner even if I'm not going for the winged liner look because it lifts my eyes and it helps them look bigger. So that's just something, you know, that you have to decide whether you like or not. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pencil in Brown Denim. And I'm going to start on the outer and come in. And my goal is, see how my eyes turn down? My goal is to keep it kind of straight. That way it's going to lift my eye and make it easy to do my wing in just a minute. So let me fill this in. Make sure you get all the way down into the lash line. Now I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Super Slim in Brown to do the wing. See how this has a long felt tip? It makes it really easy. So lay it on its side, come down to meet that liner and drag it over. And then you can try to get them even. Do not stress too much about that. And a lot of times I do take this and go right at the lash line just to make your eyes stand out. There are people you probably see on TV and in pictures that you think they have no makeup on, but they've actually done things like that just to make their eyes stand out and look pretty. Okay, so part of having your lashes look very, very natural, aside from using a very light lash, is sometimes you might want to put them on before you do your mascara. That way you can get them right down into your lashes. You don't see the band as much, so I'm going right down. Matter of fact, let me get my mirror out here. I'm not gonna, you know, use these and lift them or anything. I'm gonna put them right down into my lashes. You'll feel them kind of hit, and I even sometimes will squeeze them into the lashes. Now, when you do it this way, I would not try to take them off at night and try to use them again because they're gonna be like stuck in your lashes and I don't want you to pull your own lashes out. Whereas when I use mine, like the Kiss Jubilee, and I use them over mascara, because they're not really stuck down into my lashes, I can pull them right off. But these uh, lashes are inexpensive and it's good to look down into the mirror, come right on top, 
set it down, put it right into your lash line. And because we need these to be stuck, set, and glued down before we start putting mascara on, let those sit for a few minutes. While we're waiting on that, we're gonna do a little bit more eyeshadow. Not a lot, because I don't think we need a lot more. But I'm gonna take that same brush, wipe it off, and I'm gonna go a little bit into this warmer tone right here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that on that end like that. You can see that just warmed it up some and gave it a little bit more oomph. So now it's starting to look like you have a little bit of eyeshadow on. Then sometimes I take this creamy color mixed with a little bit of this shimmery color and I might go a little bit into the inner corner like that. But these are all optional steps. You could have just stopped with that first step. I have used this darker shade over the liner. We'll do a little bit of that. It just will make the lash line a little hazier. Now let's use my favorite mascara, the Bambi Oversized Eye. But I do really like if you are into more clean beauty, this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean. Okay, so you just go underneath. All you're wanting to do is color these lashes. Just had one pop up, which happens. So I'm going to get a little bit of glue, put it down there and put these back down. Okay, now let's hope for the best with the next eye and maybe do a few little strokes on the lashes if you want them to show up more. So that is your false lashes, but not as extreme. And because they are all the way down to your lash line, you don't have to use black eyeliner. You can go with brown. You could have even done a shadow liner. It's just a little bit more of a natural look, especially when you use such a natural lash. This one just has such a natural look, length, and the lash band. Okay, you guys, so that is the look. I hope you liked it. I really think that you would love all of these products. Like I said, I've been using them for weeks now, and I've been just so impressed. I have not even missed my higher end products. I have had you all in mind, all of you that wanted a little bit lighter coverage, you wanted a little bit lighter eyeshadow, you wanted lighter lashes, but you still want to feel like a bombshell, and I think you should. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.